My name is Jeff Morgan. I am from Dallas, Texas, and I'm here in front of Salon a la Mode because Shelly Luther, who is the owner of this salon here, is going to be opening up her store. This is Friday, uh, April the 24th, and she has declared that she's going to open up her store, that her employees need to work, that she needs to work, that needs, she needs to be able to provide finances to pay not just her mortgage, but her bills, and also to provide for her family. Now, the whole thing, the reason that this has been shut down is because of the coronavirus. And there are some things that we need to talk about with the coronavirus because too much of this is media hysteria driven. It's not factually driven. Worldwide, and this was as of this morning, if you go to the coronavirus counter, worldwide there are 2.75 million cases of the coronavirus. Uh, of the people that have had the coronavirus, approximately 192,000 have died from it. And recovered from it is about 758,000. Right now there are currently about 1.8 million. 1.8 million active cases. 1.74 million of these cases are considered mild. 1.74 million of these cases, of the 1.8 million cases, are considered mild. Severe, 60,000 cases. That's it. Now the media has also been telling us that the United States is now the new leader as far as the number of coronavirus cases uh, in the world. And once again, we need to look at some of the the the. The, the, the data underneath the claim that the United States is, in fact, the world leader. So as of this morning, once again, we have 888,000 cases in the United States. Approximately 50,000 of these people that have had this, the coronavirus have died. The majority by far are either people that were older people or had some type of comorbidities along with, with the uh, coronavirus itself. But what we are not talking about is this, is that 51% of the coronavirus cases, 51% are centered in four states. New York State has 269,000 cases of coronavirus. New York State alone accounts for about 30% of all coronavirus cases in the United States of America. New Jersey has about another 100,000, 11%. Massachusetts, 46,000, 5%. California, 40,000, 5%. Over 51% of the coronavirus cases reside in these four states. Now, when you talk about the number of people that have died from the coronavirus, 50,000 people have died so far in the United States. Once again, look behind the scenes and look at the numbers. In New York State, out of the 50,000 people that have died, 21,000 people resided in New York State. 42% of the deaths come from New York State. You look at New Jersey, 5,400 deaths, about another 11%. Two states. New York and New Jersey account for about 43% of all the state, all the deaths in the United States. When you talk about Texas, Texas is far removed from these states. So this is not a Texas problem. This is primarily a New York problem and a New Jersey and an East Coast problem. Why are we shutting down Texas over New York? Why are we shutting down the world economy over New York? And if you look at the, the statistics, and if you look at the science, the statistics, not the hysteria, you will find that this, by and large, is not a Texas problem. Of course we have some cases in Texas. Of course there have been some deaths. Out of about 30 million people in the state of Texas so far, we've had barely over 500 deaths in this state. 500 out of 30 million people. On the other hand, in New York State, over 21,000 deaths, over 42% of the deaths are in New York State. Why are we shutting down Texas for New York? Why are we shutting down the world economy for New York? This is an issue that we have to talk about. Shelly Luther, who was the owner of Salon Alamo, she is going to be opening up soon, and we support her. We support her to reopen Texas. This is something that needs to be done immediately. There are people starting to gather. We're still early before she's opening up this, the salon here. Uh, there will be more people uh, coming. I've talked with people, and even if the appointments are all booked, they're going to be buying cards just to support her. We need to reopen the economy. What's going to be happening is this. If we do not reopen the economy, we are going to be losing people because of poverty. Right now, the unemployment st uh, stats that we have, currently there are over 1 million newly unemployed people in the state of Texas versus 500 deaths 
This is a tragic shame. Once again, this is media hysteria that is driving this whole narrative. We need to look at the science. The left likes to talk about science. What they use is a pseudoscience. We need to look at the real data, the real statistics. Once again, the coronavirus in the United States of America primarily is, con is concentrated in New York State, New Jersey, Massachusetts. Yes, we have some in California. There are other states that also have the, the coronavirus, but by and large, this is not a Texas problem. We should be reopening Texas. We should not be destroying Texas, and we should not be destroying the world economy because of a New York State problem. Thank you.